I've plugged my voice evacuation fire alarm demonstration system back into the wall, which means it's finally time to demonstrate some more fire alarms. Here we go. Well, as you can see, I just triggered six alarms to start off the system test. That's a way to do it, I guess. <laughs> as you can see on the fire alarm control panel, there's a bunch of different alarms. And I think before we reset to everything, I'll go ahead and activate this blue pole station right here, which this is linked to the Gentex White GX90-4W mini horn. And it's right now set up as a severe weather alert, which means the voice system, which is that speaker right there, will also activate. So here we go. We'll just key activate it this time because I'm sure you've seen me pull this before. And if not, I have other videos where I pulled it. So here we go. Right now the game is to see if I can reset everything before the panel re-alarms everything because I just reset the panel. There we go, I did it. That was close. <laughs> The alarms in this test are actually branded by the company Faraday. This one over here is a Faraday 2A84-K horn strobe. And as you could hear, I had it set on a whoop tone. This alarm can do a lot of different tones. And going over, this strobe only is a Faraday 2700-E. I will say these alarms are fairly similar to some Siemens alarms. This one right here is a U-MCS remote strobe. And then if we look at this alarm, I have a Siemens UMMT horn strobe. Yeah, they're pretty much the same thing. To finish out the system test, we're gonna activate this Firelight SD355 photoelectric addressable smoke detector. But before you do that, I'm gonna show you something. I'm gonna go ahead and take the head off of the smoke detector, just like that. So let's say you're in a building and you're in a bathroom or someplace private where there's one of these smoke detectors and you try to take off the head to do something that you know you shouldn't be doing, well, guess what happens? The fire alarm control panel will eventually register a trouble and it will sound an alarm, as it's doing right now, so that who's ever in charge of these panels and systems in the building will know about it and make their way to come check out what's going on with this smoke detector. So long story short, do not tamper with fire alarms in buildings because somebody will know, somebody will find out, and it's just never a good idea. As you can see on the fire alarm control panel, it says trouble, smoke detector, photoelectric, main entrance, invalid reply. So basically what that means is it's not seeing the smoke detector head that would be in the main entrance. I have random locations programmed in for all of these devices just for demonstration. While I have the head off of the smoke detector, I'll go ahead and show you this. As you can see, here's the back of the head. 
and as you can see there's two wheels one for tens and one for ones and I right now have it programmed for the number 12 and that is the address of this smoke detector this is the significance of addressable fire alarm systems because all of these initiating devices right now are on the same circuit and what you can do with an addressable fire alarm control panel is you can go in and set every address so address number one might be the pull station in the main entrance and address number 12 might be the smoke detector in the main entrance and you can program in all these settings on the fire alarm control panel so that the user can differentiate between every device know where it is and know what it is a conventional fire alarm system or a zoned system could have all of these devices on the same circuit so when one of them goes off you don't know what it is or where it is you just know something went off so addressable fire alarm systems are a good thing for buildings, but for collectors like myself, it can sometimes make things a little difficult just because you have to track down all the right parts in order to make the system work. Anyways, let's finally test this firelight smoke detector. I have some Solo A4 canned smoke, and we'll go ahead and spray it at the detector and see if it will go off. There we go. Alright, the system is silenced and we can go ahead and reset the entire thing by pressing the reset button. Alright, reset and system. I think that's going to do it for this system test. Thank you for watching, rate, comment, and subscribe, and have a great day everyone. Thank you.